start hello medicos let us start with the new topic in orthopedics that is the fracture okay so first of all if you are still new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so you get notified every time i post a new video right now i'm posting the whole video series of orthopedics so stay tuned and also one thing i got a lot of um, problems regarding that if you feel my video is slow if you feel my video is slow go in the settings above click the playback speed and increase the speed of my video so that you get increased speed so speed video and you can have the rapid revision of orthopedics of my through my videos okay now let us start with the lecture okay so what all points we will be covering or what you are going to learn in this lecture first of all what do you mean by fracture then the classification of fracture what is the pathological fracture and what are the stress fractures okay so at the end of lectures at the end of the end of this lecture you are going to get answer for all this question okay now let us start the definition of fracture definition of fracture is the break in the continuity of bone or the cortex is called as fracture let us write it down it is the break in continuity of bone or the cortex of bone is called as fracture right now whenever you say fracture you need to diagnose it okay so for diagnosing we have two criteria first of all the clinical how the patient presents to you what are the clinical features of that patient and then is the radiological okay so we have two first we have the clinical and then we have the radiological in the radiological obviously uh, radiological um, diagnosis we are going to do the imaging and in the imaging we are going to know whether it's partial or complete fracture right in radiological imaging we are going to know whether it's partial or the complete fracture and in clinical presentation of fractures you get two it's like you can divide the clinical presentation into two subheadings one is pathognomic fract um, clinical presentation and one is consistent clinical presentation of fracture so first of all let us write the pathognomic okay and in pathognomic there are two presentation first is crepitus and then we have the abnormal movement the first is crepitus and then we have the abnormal mobility what do you mean by crepitus crepitus is a feeling or crepitus is a rubbing of two fractured end against each other okay by this rubbing movement we get crepitus and the second one is abnormal mobility the the second class that is the consistent clinical presentation in that whenever you get fracture the there is always the fracture is always uh, associated with tenderness okay so this then we have here tenderness okay so in this way we are going to diagnose the fracture clinically pathologically okay now let us move towards the classification of fractures see fractures are classified on different basis so first of all we will see what are the basis of classification and then we are going to discuss in detail so first of all the first basis for classification is etiology etiology the cause of fracture okay then we have the displacement displacement on the basis of two fracture end we are going to differentiate the classic uh, fractures then we have the external environment okay here we are going to see how the fracture is related to its external environment then we have 
our complexity of treatment right so how complex is the treatment of fracture what all things you need to do for the treatment of fracture then we are going to see we have done with the complexity then we are going to going to see the quantum of force so force by which the velocity or the quantum of force by which the fracture is occurring and then we have the last one the pattern of fractures okay patterns of fracture first of all let us start with the etiology etiology means the cause of fracture okay so the cause of fracture there are three types of cause of fracture first of all we get the traumatic then we have the pathological factor and then we have the stress fracture okay and putting hashtag as in for fracture so what are all these type these three types of fracture to understand this i am going to put to head first of all the bone and the force so let us write it down the bone and force over here so in traumatic fracture the bone is absolutely normal there is no pathology associated with bone but here the force is abnormal okay in case of pathological fracture there is problem with bone so here the bone is abnormal but the force acting on that abnormal bone is normal in case of stress fracture both bone and force is normal okay in case of this stress fracture both bone and force is normal but the cause of this bone this fracture is sudden repeated activity by the individual this sudden repeated frequent activity which is sudden all of a sudden done by the by the individual causes the stress fracture okay so here we have done with the etiological classification of fracture we are going to see the pathological fracture and the stress fracture detail in further video now let us see the displacement fracture okay so displacement fracture we have first of all the undisplaced fracture and then we have the displaced fracture in undisplaced fracture it is easily identified because the fracture is undisplaced it can be easily identified because the the two fracture end are proximal like the pro there is proximity between those two fracture ends okay so here there is proximity two fractured end but in case of displacement fracture the, the two fractured end are displaced and the cause or the factor which of which caused the displacement of these are first of all the force by which fracture occurred then the pull of muscles okay the force by which the fracture has occurred the pull of muscle and the third one is the gravity okay all this fracture affects whether how much how much is the displacement of fracture and whether it's undisplaced and displaced fracture so we are going to uh, say the displacement of fracture in terms of shift angulation and rotation see here these are the two fracture and so these two fractures and are shifted okay then these are the angulation and then we have the rotation type of fracture see here this bone is rotated then we have rotation 
okay this is the displacement basis for the classification of fracture then we are going to see the external environment the relation of fracture with external environment okay so the, uh, we are going to differentiate we have two types the first one is the closed fracture here the muscles and the skin over the fracture is intact the fracture is not communicating with the external environment that fracture is called as closed fracture then we have our open fracture in open fracture the fracture site or the fractured bone or the fractured injury is in communication with external environment and this causes the contamination of fracture the open fracture is slow healing fracture it does not heals quickly and the open fracture we can say we are we will differentiate that open fracture into internal open fracture and the external open fracture so what is it it's it's external open fracture and then we have our internal open fracture in case of external open fracture it is called caused because of the laceration of skin and muscle over the fracture and that hurting the bone so we have here the laceration plus fracture of bone right but this internal fracture is caused because of pierce piercing of skin and muscle by the fractured piece okay the fractured piece pierces the skin and the muscle and then causes the open fractures this type of fracture is internal open fracture okay so here we are done with the with the external environment basis for the classification of factor fracture then we have the complexity of fracture so the complexity of fracture here we have two types the first one is simple fracture and then we have our complex fracture the simple fracture in these two pieces are usually proximate proximate shows proximity to each other and simple immobilization will heal the fracture the example is the transverse fracture of humerus here there is proximity of two fractured end and it heals the treatment is simple immobilization okay and the example is example is transverse fracture of humerus okay but here the in in case of the complex fracture the two ends are not proximate you need to do the external fixation and all these uh, methods to to treat the fracture so it's it is complex right and the example of this is commuted fracture of tibia it's commuted fracture of tibia okay now our next basis for the fracture classifying the fractures is the force the quantum of force the fo then here we have two things the first one is low velocity fracture and then we have the high velocity fracture the high velocity fractures are generally seen in the rough injuries or rts the road road traffic accident usually present with high velocity fracture in this the there is devascularization there is intense devascularization and the fractures are open it is contaminated these this type of fracture which is because of high velocity we call it as high velocity fracture and the low velocity fracture is mainly because of the fall or any uh, rough play that will cause the low velocity fracture the high velocity fracture heals the healing is delayed but in low velocity fracture the healing is fast as compared to the high velocity fractures then we are going to see the patterns okay 
So in this image, we first of all have the first when we have the transverse fracture. The transverse fracture occurs when the force acting on bone is perpendicular to the bone. The force, see here we are going to write the force. Okay, so how force is acting. Here it is perpendicular to bone. Right? Now, the linear fracture. The linear fractures occurs when, um, when the fracture is parallel to the bone line. See, this is the bone line over here. And this is the fracture. Here the fracture is parallel to the bone line and it is causing because outstretch of it is it is caused most commonly a humor, humerus and it is because of the outstretching of hand or putting entire weight or entire body, body weight by outstretching of hand. Okay, so here the fracture is parallel parallel to bone line. Okay, then we have oblique non-displaced and oblique displaced fracture. The oblique fracture is caused when there is two force acting in addition. The first force is the bone is forced to be steady, vertical force and then a oblique force acts on bone. So the bone is steady. Here we are getting the vertical. I am pushing the bone like this. Here we are getting the vertical force and then we are getting the oblique force this oblique force causes the oblique passing of fracture see like this oblique fracture okay so here there are two forces the first is vertical and then we have the oblique then we have the spiral pattern <laughs> i drew the line, line like spiral only wait a minute Then we have the spiral pattern. In case of spiral pattern, multiple force in multiple direction is acting on bone. So we have multiple force. Okay. In multiple direction. Right. It's basically twisting force acting on bone. Okay. This twisting force causes the spiral fracture. Then here we have the green stick fracture. These green stick fractures are basically seen in soft bones. Okay, it's seen in soft bone and it is infant seen in infants because infants have soft bone. It's basically the soft bone which bends too much and because of bending of this soft bone there is a breach over here there is a fracture over here and that is green stick fracture then here we have the comminuted fracture comminuted fracture here the, there is more than two pieces of fracture okay so more than two pieces of fracture right now up till here we are done with the uh, classification of bone a uh, classification of fractures so, see, you can, um, you can take the screenshot of this um, whole, of this whole thing. In this one page, I'm, I have covered whole of the classification of bone. So, uh, here we are done with the video of part one, part one of the fracture. In next video, we are going to discuss the pathological fracture and the uh, stress fra fracture. So stay tuned and uh, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification because I am going to upload whole of the series for orthopedics.